<laughs> wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Sasonis and welcome to another episode of the Ark Survival Evolved the Dev Kit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> another Dev Kit video and this time we're gonna look at this one. It's the Tapajara or at least I think it's called the Tapajara. And yeah, you can call it also the Mr. Mohawk. <laughs> because look at this insane big Mohawk on, on top of its head. It's so huge. But yeah, before we're gonna check this dino out and check all the animations, there are a lot. We're gonna check out the dino dossier, so let's go to the dino dossier. And here we are at the amazing dino dossier of the Tapajara. <laughs> well, at least I think it is an amazing dossier because as you already can see the colors of it, I love the looks of it. And as you also can see, you can see two humans sitting on the back of this bird. So yeah, th this is so amazing to have in the game. But let's see what it says. It says that the temperament is kitties. So I guess this one will fly away as soon as you come near it. And it says, in the world the Tapajara is a marvel to watch. It has astonishing agility compared to the island other flyers. Thanks in large part to the rudder like fin that extends from its snout to the back of its skull. So that's that nice part you see on, the, on top of its head, the big mohawk. And yeah, the, the looks of it are amazing. And yeah, thanks to that one, thanks to the big mohawk. Yeah, it has a high agility and, and I love it, I love it. <laughs> I can't wait to fly with it. And let's see what it says more. Well, it says that initially I thought the fin was simply composed of keratin, but closer inspection has led me to believe that it is actually some kind of sensory organ. Not only does it decrease Tapajara's turning radius, even at high speeds, but it apparently provides Tapajara with extra information to help it fly through the air with unparalleled grace. I've even seen Tapajara hover and strafe side to side in the air without moving forward at all. It's quite remarkable. The creature also makes effective use of razor shop claws to latch onto surfaces such as the trunks of tall trees holding its position indefinitely. And yeah, <laughs> I'm already in love with this dino. I love the fact that you can use it as a helicopter, that you can move sideways and maybe even backwards. And I love the fact that you can yeah, rest in trees or on the side of a cliff. That's amazing and that's way better than resting on land. <laughs> So much less danger of other dinos. So that's cool. And yeah, let's check out what it says at Domesticated. And at Domesticated it says that warlike tribes appear to consider Tapajara the equivalent of versatile rotor aircraft capable of rapid positional changes and aggressive agility. So yeah, <laughs> that's like a helicopter. It's awesome. And when Domesticated the Tapajara is typically outfitted with a unique dual rider saddle enabling a passenger to wield handheld weaponry while the pilot takes the reins. And when the Tapajero is latched onto a service, both the passenger and the pilot are able to make full use of their weapons together. Oh, <laughs> that's so awesome. So with the Pteranodon or with the organs, yeah, I always had my tribe mate hanging below it and yeah, it had to shoot it while it was hanging there. and. It was uh, yeah, sometimes really annoying because you can also shoot your own bird. So th that's not handy. And with this one, you, you can just shoot from the back. So that's awesome. <laughs> and let's see what it says more. Evidently, what this skittering creature lacks in distance stamina, constitution and weight carrying capacity, it makes up for its maneuverability and combat versatility. So th yeah, this is so awesome to have this bird. and and. Yeah, of course it can't hold very much, so yeah, I think it's just uh, with a pteranodon you also can't carry a lot of stuff. But it is handy to have a dual saddle, because yeah, that, that is so cool. And I'm curious if you have the dual saddle that you have two persons on top, and maybe you can also hold one person in a class. So may maybe you can use that as well. So then you have three persons on this bird, so that's cool. And of course the flying aspect, uh, uh, yeah, that, that I I can't wait to use it as a helicopter. <laughs> it's so cool. But yeah, let's go to the animations and let's check those out. And we're back, back in the dev kit. And yeah, I really love the looks of this one. I really, really love the Mohawk and yeah, it is so amazing. And as you can see with the textures uh, over here on its belly and on its back, I think it will have the same textures as the Quetzal. So the small feathers, feathery like stuff on the body. 
So on the back and on the belly, I think that will be the same as the Quetzal. And I put the Quetzal next to it to do some size comparison. And yeah, I think this one is almost at the size it will be in the game. And yeah, there is no saddle for it yet, so I couldn't test that out. But I will test it out with some humans on it. But let's go on to the other animations. And this one is walking on the land. So it's a nice move and it's like the Tyranodon. And guess what this one is doing? <laughs> well, this one is cuddling. So this is the cuddle animation. It's so funny. And yeah, I think you know what this animation is. This is the eating animation. So it eats from the ground. So yeah, it's, it's a cool one. It's nice. <laughs> And of course, after all the eating or after too much cuddling, you have to lay an egg or you have to poop. And that's this animation. So look at it. <laughs> wiggle, 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 yeah. Oh, look. Wiggle, wiggle. Look at this. I, <laughs> I like the look of it still wiggling and, and the rest of its body wiggling after it has laid down an egg or it, after it has some do some pooping. So, <laughs> oh man, this is so funny. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm rambling about the pooping animation, but yeah, I, I really love this. <laughs> oh, this wiggle wiggle. Okay, let's go on to the other animation. <laughs> so look at this one. Who's the boss? Who's the boss? It's you? It's you? Yeah? It's me! <laughs> it's me, the Tapajara. And it reminds me a little bit of, a, yeah, in Dutch we call them potload venters. And maybe in English it's called the flasher. So th those dirty men that has those long raincoats on and yeah, are naked underneath it and then flashing off the stuff when they open up the jacket. So yeah, it reminds me a little bit of those, of the <laughs> those dirty old men. And yeah, this one, this one is getting hurt. So this one is getting hurt on land. And it doesn't have a big hurt or the small hurt. It just has this one. And I guess when you have it startled, so this is the startled animation, or when you have it hurt, it will take off and fly away. So that is this animation, this is the takeoff animation. So let's go on to the other amazing flying animations. And here we are at the flying animation and yeah, 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 you're the Quetzal, I know, I know. But we are now here for the Tepajara. <laughs> well, this one is flying in idle and as you can see I've put two humans on top of it. And I think this will be about the size it will get. And I didn't make this one bigger or smaller or the kind of things. No, no, it's just by default. So maybe a little bit smaller and maybe a little bit bigger. But I think this will be about the size. So that's how it looks with two humans on its back. So it's cool. It's awesome. So this is the move forward animation. So this one is flying forward. A nice animation. And we have another flying animation. And that is this one. This one is flapping, so I think that one over there is flying faster and this one is flying slower forward. So that's cool. And we also have three turning animations and this one is called flapping left. So this is, I think, moving slowly to the left or flying slowly to the left. And this one is flying to the left, so this one is faster. And this one is just gliding to the left. So three cool turning animations and yeah, I bet with this big mohawk and like we have seen in the dino dossier, it will turn fast. So even with high speeds, it will turn fast. And here we have two other startled animations and this one is startled left and this one is startled right. So yeah, this one is getting a little bit skittish. <laughs> so a nice animation. And we have three attack animations and the first one is this one. It's a bite animation. And we have another bite animation. And yeah, I don't know why there are two bite animations. Maybe they have to they have to decide which animation they're gonna choose. Because the left one is looks a little bit faster than the right one. So yeah, maybe they have they have to decide whether they're gonna use the left one or the right one. And onto this one, this is the grab animation. So this will be uh, about the same, I guess, as the Tyranodon. So that's cool. So let's go on to the other animations. And of course, when it's flying, yeah, you can hurt it. So this is the hurt animation when it's flying. So it is, yeah, just a normal, nice animation. And like a Tyranodon, this one can roll over. So two different animations for that. One to the left and one to the right. 
And yeah, I really like those roll animations. So yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy doing those. But yeah, of course we want to tame it. So we have to knock it out. So yeah, this one, it is drunk. <laughs> it is going to sleep. And yeah, it's a nice animation. And this one is totally wasted. This one is sleeping. So yeah, just a normal animation. And this one is eating. Oh, check it out. Yes. It's a nice one. And the two waking up animations. So we have the one on the left waking up and it's wild again. And the one on the right, it is tamed. So I think it will make some noise. Because yeah, the, the, the mouth is going open and... I think it will be... Yeah! <laughs> I'm yours! Woohoo! Well, of course we want to see how it lets on to the servers. So let's go to that. So yeah, here are the three animations for yeah latching onto the servers of a cliff or on a tree. But let me slow it down. Is it, it is a little bit too fast. Let's see. So this one right here. It will uh, yeah, uh, latch on to the cliff. So as you can see from flying position, it go to the landing position. So it's a nice animation. And of course now I'm now I'm also slow. <laughs> and this one is moving away from the cliff. So yeah, I, I guess in in the game it shouldn't stick its head into the wall. But of course it's in the dev kit now. But at least you can see it taking off. And it is way faster than that normally. So yeah, let's put the speed back up to normal. But yeah, this animation going so fast, I, I, you almost can't see it. But it, it is a nice animation. It turns its body a little bit to the right and then takes off. And here you can see it. Here you can see it hanging on the wall. And I love it. <laughs> I can't wait to do this. It's, it's like a bed. Like a bed hanging on the wall. Oh, this is so cool. So yeah, you can do that by yourself or even with two persons, as we have seen before in the dossier and also uh, with the other animation. And you can shoot from its back when it's hanging on the wall. So that, that is so cool. Just hanging on the wall and just shoot around. Ah man, <laughs> I can't wait to use it. I really can't. So it is amazing. So yeah, that's it guys. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed all those animations and, and yeah, the looks of it. And I can't wait to tame it and to fly it and making it in my own helicopter. So <laughs> it really, it is really cool. And yeah, let me know what you think of this bird. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like. And yeah, leave any comments with any suggestions or questions or whatever. And as always, if you haven't already and you want to see more of me in the future, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>